everybody, welcome back to our weekly vlog channel. I hope our video can bring you some joyful holiday feelings. As we all know, today, this weekend, will be our last stop for the year. So bear with me if I sound way too excited because I am. <laughs> Anyways, um, we are going to Tempe, Arizona, Phoenix. And that's 20 hours drive and 1,173 miles away. So I'll be totally fake to saying if I'm not worried at all. And so the further we travel, the more cost we're putting in and the more profit we have to make, right? So um, it's definitely a risky shot. But you know what? We haven't got any chance to do any shows that's closer to West Coast area or experience our shows over there. So we both just decided to give it a shot no matter what. However, the best thing was I caught a cold during this weekend. I mean, I told y'all I had a feeling last video that I might catch a cold. And now this weekend I did actually caught a cold. So now I do very believe that you, your every word truly has powers, right? So from now on, I, I will only say some nice and good and positive things about myself or the business. So... Well, it's it's just before we leave, I only had some minor symptoms like runny nose and those tiny stuffs. But the that thing was it just happened to rain when we set up. Um, it didn't rain when we leave. It didn't rain when we travel. It just happened to be raining when we set up things. So this is just a total, totally reverse version of common sense. <laughs> And also the setup time for us was kind of late too. Um, they only allowed vehicle to come in after 9 p.m. Um, also because of the rain, we had to wait a little bit longer to actually set up things. So by the time we all finished, it was midnight already, and I was a bit wet, tired. Um, exhausted of course and so everything added up together just made me weak and finally cut the coat anyways um, here is our final layout for our last stop um, we didn't get any extra space this time because um, this show was on a main street so every booth needs to set up really tight and there's absolutely no space between each booth um, like I said in those previous videos I really do not like or enjoy this way I definitely do prefer some extra space uh, between each spot but um, if you're considering you are on a main street and this layout was probably Probably the best um, everybody can do so for me it is um, very much a pity and a regret that we couldn't show more paintings or have a lot of extra space this time but like I said this is this this stop will be our last one so um, I'm I'm okay with this I'm really do A little information about this festival as always. Um, so this festival is called Tempe Festival of the Arts and it's constantly ranks among the top uh, 100 classic and contemporary craft shows in the nation by Sunshine Artist Magazine and has received um, the prestigious uh, Pinnacle Awards from the International Festival and Events Association um, so quality and independent artists are the fundamental to the success of this event. So each festival received um, more than 500 applications from throughout the nation um, in 17 different virtual arts categories that range from wood to photography um, to wearable art, jewelry and paintings, 2D arts and other categories as well. So from those uh, applications, a jury comprised of members of the local art community ranks the top um, artists in 
each category to participate in this festival, and the highest ranking artists receive an invitation to participate. And、um, during the festival, a new jury selects the best overall artist and the top artist in each category, and those winners receive cash、uh, rewards at the last. So for us, it was definitely an honor to be invited to this show. And this was also one of these、um, three days shows. And when I said three days, it was、uh, the whole three days.、Um, uh, so they actually served a dinner and、uh, a word announcing party at Saturday night.、Um, the food was、uh, actually pretty good, and the drinks were fine too. Although it was kind of cold after the sunset, but、um, we do have some warmer stands around each table, so it definitely helped a lot. <laughs> I actually felt so much better after this dinner party. I don't know why,、um, but I actually do feel better.、Um, and moreover, they have volunteered to send out snacks and waters once in a while. And to be honest, I literally ate 15 bags of hot Cheetos during these three days. But don't judge me. Hey, I please remember I was a patient. And and I definitely need food to provide me more energy to recover. So, hot Cheeto is necessary. Although everything looks pretty awesome and promising,、um, and I even dyed my hair for this show, but、uh, I really need to be honest, it wasn't really a good show, and it's been a bad show for not only us, but I think for every artist.、Um, so this show has a huge reputation, like Vail or Ocean Spring Festival, but it got nothing to compare to those shows.、Um, I mean, it was a three-day show, yet we barely made it even at the end of the day. So people from here are definitely more comfortable buying prints or small crafts or maybe even food. I don't know.、Um, and it's absolutely a bummer for us because first of all, we all had high hopes and high expectations for this show. And also, since it was our last show, we kinda just wanted to be some perfect show as well.、Um, but <laughs> apparently, it wasn't.、Uh, not even a good show. But I am absolutely. Not complaining at all. I mean, after all, it it was us picked、um, this show. So,、um, and it's always a valuable lesson to figure out which area will be better for us. We just probably won't be coming back next year, though. All right, here is everything for today's and this year's video.、Um, I hope. Y'all enjoyed our weekly our show vlog, and I definitely did enjoy our journey to every and each shows. But、uh, this will be our final shows for this year, and we'll be starting our next year's show at Florida. So please subscribe at our channel and find out what would happen at 2024. See you guys on the road. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.